consciousness and human mind. Human beings who have not delved deeper into themselves find both mind and consciousness as synonymous. Only when one becomes more aware of oneself, then one can see the different degrees, different types of powers of consciousness at mental, physical, psychic and spiritual levels. Mind is modified consciousness that brings forward mental energy. A man can stand back in his mental consciousness and also watch his mental energy performing acts like thinking, planning, etc. When the process of introspection sets in, one can find that consciousness observes and energy acts. With a little practice, anyone can do that. And when he begins to observe his own thoughts, feeling and actions, it means process has already begun. For the process of transformation, it is very important that we must be able to observe our own thoughts, feelings and actions. Without observing or having the capacity to observe one's own thoughts and feelings, the process of transformation cannot continue. There always exist two types of consciousness, inner and outer. This surrounds our being and acts upon all its levels. An ordinary man only remains aware of his surface self while he remains quite unaware of all that is hidden under the surface because there are different layers of consciousness. The surface consciousness, the level of consciousness below that which is unconscious and subconscious. What happens? You are listening to me. There are many other things may be going on in the background that constantly take our energy. You use your iPhone, you open a page or app or program, you close it off, then you open another one, close it off, and this process goes on in our day-to-day -day basis. Although on the surface you may be talking to someone on phone or searching something in Google, but all the programs, apps that you had opened earlier, the calculator, this and that, they remain open at the background and continue to conserve your energy. And you do not know the reason and you say that I do not know why my phone runs down so quickly. I have to continuously charge it. This is what exactly happens to the human mind. The surface consciousness sees only what is on the surface. There are many other programs just as many other apps that form the part of the iPhone and phone terminology remain open in human mind. You may have abandoned one relationship but that app remains open. You have not learned the process of closing that app. You may have had a brawl with someone, that app remains open. Somebody had insulted you, that app remains open. Like this, many apps remain open and continue to use our energy, drain out our energy on a day-to-day -day basis. These form the part of unconscious and subconscious. Now how does it happen? You have gone through various stages. If you understand the mechanism of an iPhone, you will understand the difference between the surface consciousness, the subconscious and unconscious very easily. This particular power you needed to do a calculation and you open the calculation app on your iPhone. Your work is finished. You switch on to the other app without closing it completely. 
it remains at the background. The process of removing those apps from iPhone involves you click your turn on and off switch in a quick succession twice. All the apps that have been opened up are open and continuously conserve your energy. You have to remove these and the process of removing this is you put your finger onto that app and carry it upwards in that it vanishes from the memory and it stops consuming or draining out the battery life battery charge so when you were growing up in your iphone or phones this is a short term process you can very easily close it off but when it comes to the human mind this particular app was open in the childhood when you were five years of age you did not have a good childhood maybe your parents were quarreling a lot and you have witnessed all that the memory of that remains open in your mind and continue to disturb you whenever you want to enter into any relation. You may have a bad male-female relation. The memory of that remains open. That particular app remains open. The process of removing those apps from your conscious and unconscious memory is to bring them onto the surface, relive those moments consciously. Even in a particular relation, there would have been some moments of extreme joy and bliss, and there would have been certain moments of great despair, misery and agony. You have to relive these moments consciously. And when you relive these moments consciously, that particular app which was open for ages will vanish. Not only the apps of this life, but many of the past life memories also remain open. And these surface even when they are not called for and you are not even aware of it. Meditation is the process to become more and more aware of these open apps that are continuously working behind the surface mind and, cons and continue to use the energy. An ordinary man only remains aware of his surface self while he remains quite unaware of all that is hidden under the surface. The apps that were once open and yet what is on the surface what we know of ourselves and even believe it, that is all we are and it is only a part of our being. Your laptop, your iPhone is not only, it, it is composed of all those apps that you have installed on your iPhone and that you use continuously. You open these, use them for a certain function then you think you have closed but these are not closed instead they remain consuming your energy or the battery life from behind the larger part of our being remains hidden below the surface behind the veil the occult and can be known only through meditation Materialistic psychology calls this hidden part as inconscient, but they do accept the practicality of this greater, more powerful and yet profound aspect than the conscious self on the surface. There are four layers of consciousness. Waking consciousness is the first one, that is your iPhone is open, you see all the different images, this is the surface mind. It is on the surface and remains aware of the material universe alone.
This is a part of our embedded existence and remains dominated by the physical mind. Next is the dream consciousness which corresponds to a subtler layer and plane of the mind behind. During our waking state, we operate through our senses, mind and material universe. We constantly interact with the objects and beings around us. This is an interaction. And when you enter the dream state, surface mind goes to unwind and we do not get the same concrete reality as in the waking state. The sleep state of consciousness is the next state. This state belongs to the causal body. This state remains beyond our experience because the causal body is not yet evolved in us and its faculties remains inactive. Thus we remain connected to this plane in a state of dreamless sleep. Of this we remain quite unaware. It is only after this dreamless sleep that we get invigorated. The whole night we continue to dream. It is only for approximately two hours we get connected to this state. It is during this state mystics say man and God are in each other's company or the finite and infinite merge with one another. It is because of this one feels invigorated. Everyone has to discover this period. Up to this state it is easy to reach. However, the fourth is very rare to attain. This is called by the masters as the Turiya or the fourth state. This state is the consciousness of our pure self-existence or our absolute being. We do not have any relation with it at all or with whatever mental reflections we may receive in our dreams. On our waking, or during the dreamless state. A time comes in the life of every seeker when he is aware of living two worlds simultaneously. We may say two consciousness at the same time or two parts of the existence same or two parts of the same existence. As he is now, he lives in the outer self but he will go more and more inward. This continues until the process is reversed. Then he lives within this consciousness and feels the outer as something on the surface formed as an instrument for self-expression in the material world. The inner becomes dominant. You are guided by that. Then from within a power works on the outer to make it a conscious instrument so that finally the inner and outer gets fused into one another and become one. The reality lies within and outside is a mere projection of this reality.